Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got the A1 Flame Atmosphere Bluetooth speaker. This has 96 LEDs in it to give it that flame appearance or flickering appearance in the bottom. You can check it out on Amazon at the time of this review for $49, and they're also offering 5% off right now as well as a sale. So go check that out. The link will be in the description below. So let's get into this right now. Check out the sound quality and what it's all about, and I'll be right back. Okay, so once you open up everything, this is what you get in the box. Obviously, you're going to get the, the unit itself, uh, which is sitting here to my left. Uh, it's a pretty cool looking unit. It is made all of plastic, uh, hard ABS plastic. You get a, a micro USB to USB charge cable to charge up the unit itself. Uh, it is about a foot and a half long. Uh, not a terribly short cable, but not a long cable. I prefer longer cables myself. Uh, this will charge that 2000 milliamp battery that you do have in the A1. Now they do give you a user manual here. It's uh, written in English. The type is pretty small, but it's not terrible. Uh, the tech specs on this Bluetooth 4.0. You've got your SNR there. Your Bluetooth name is going to be the A1. You've got 10 meters of that Bluetooth transmission distance. It is a 5 volt 1 amp power supply and it's got a 7.4 volt 2000 milliamp battery in it that will last up to about five to six hours of solid playback time. And if you're just going to use the LEDs, you can get up to 22 hours of LED playback. So let me uh, get this set up and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're all set up. You can see I've got the LEDs on. There's 96 LEDs. It's very simple to turn this on. Uh, you've got all your controls at the top here, the center control being for the LEDs only. And you can see it offers this candle or flame type effect here, which I find is actually pretty cool. Um, they did a really good job as far as the LEDs go for giving off light. Uh, and this is in a totally lit environment. You can imagine that it's only gonna be a little bit brighter in total darkness. Uh, so they did a really cool job. If you're a fan of candles, uh, but don't wanna burn them uh, in your house or something like that, and you want a safer option, you could use this just for the light ambiance. Now on the top, you've got all of your controls here. That LED button is just that one in the middle. You can turn it, it's a one touch on and off. Uh, and it works uh, very nice, nice tactile feel on the buttons as well. Power button here, uh, forward and reverse with volume up and down buttons. And also your pause and play are all right there on the top. So they make it really easy to reach these buttons. On the side, you're gonna have a little flap that's gonna have your DC five volt in, which again, is a micro USB for recharging that 2000 milliamp battery inside the unit. Uh, takes about four and a half hours or so to charge it up. Uh, you'll get about six hours of solid music and LED playback. Uh, and if you just use the LED itself, you can get up to 22 hours of LED. Uh, they made some nice little accents here. Uh, you can see uh, there's uh, kind of like a, a brushed aluminum accent uh, that goes around it, but the rest is going to be just uh, that plastic. On the bottom, you're gonna have a nice ring to keep it on the table, and you're also gonna have a mount for a tripod uh, in case you wanna mount this on something kind of tiki torch style, you could do that as well. Overall, the design is pretty basic. Uh, again, you're gonna have uh, the power button up here, so we're gonna hit it and the buttons will light up with a ring around it, which is another nice added effect. Holding it in for a few seconds will make it blink to let you know that you're in pairing mode. And then to pair it up, it's very, very simple. Uh, we're gonna do this on my phone here. Uh, just going into Bluetooth and scanning for the device, it should come up as the A1 which it will do right there. And as you pair on it, it is super fast at pairing. As you can see, we are already connected for media audio. Now it is media audio only. This does not have a microphone in it. You cannot use it as a speakerphone. So keep that in mind. Overall, uh, we're gonna test the sound quality on this uh, right now so that you guys can check out how this sounds. Uh, and it does a pretty good job. I'll let you guys be the judge here in just a second. Okay, so what I'll do now is I will set up some music for you guys to hear. Uh, you can see that it's open-ended at the top and uh, kind of a surround sound type deal. So you don't really have to worry about which way it's positioned. 
Uh, so let's play a music sample for you guys. <laughs> go that's the music sample and as you could hear it's not too bad uh, it does let a little bit of bass out uh, it's not uh, insane on the bass side so if you're looking for a lot of bass you're not going to get it out of this particular speaker but the sound is clear and it is crisp uh, two things to note about this particular speaker that I did not like uh, I'm not saying that this is a deal breaker, but it is all made out of plastic. Um, so if you're looking build quality wise, it is not waterproof as well. So that's something that you you know may or may not, if you wanna have this by your pool or something like that, just be careful with it. Other than that, the buttons are very cool. The uh, flame lighting is very cool. And the sound is crisp enough and it does let a little bit of bass in. I'm gonna take this to the end of the review. I hope you guys enjoyed. So that's my review of the A1 Flame Atmosphere speaker. This is a pretty cool speaker with some extras like that flame effect. Uh, the build quality is all plastic, which is kind of a negative for me, but not a deal breaker. The sound is crisp enough uh, and it does a great job. Overall, this is a solid Bluetooth speaker. If you want to check it out, check out the link below. Uh, again, this is Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. Uh, remember to like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so because that always helps me out. And I'll check you guys out on the next video. Oh,